This tutorial will introduce you to unit cell detection and lateral calibration in SPIP. Lateral calibration in SPIP requires an image containing structures with no pitch dimensions. To start the calibration process, go to the Analyze tab where you'll find the calibration tools. Now press the XY unit cell button to have the best fitting lattice structure calculated for the image. The calculated lattice structure is automatically shown in the image. Please note that you can choose between two different display modes for the unit cell grid and that you can also turn the display off. You can move the grid with your mouse to align it with certain image features. This may help you verify the validity of the grid. The unit cell results are shown in the top section with its vector coordinates and extracted length and angles. In addition, the angle between the unit cell vectors is shown together with the inner area of the unit cell. You can now enter the proper reference values for the reference unit cell, that is the length of the two unit cell vectors and their angle. The correction parameters can be calculated based on the following unit cell forms, quadratic, hexagonal, rectangular, or the generic oblique form. Simply click on the Apply button to get the corresponding correction factors calculated. You now have a set of correction parameters which you can save and, of course, load at a later time so that they can be used to correct other images of similar dimensions taken with the same instrument. If you want to perform a lateral calibration with the highest accuracy, the XY linearity method is recommended. It will both calculate the best fitting unit cell along with linearity parameters and provide information about the average pixel location error. Please note that the calibration method requires that your image contains a two-dimensional uniform structure such as the sample shown here. Let's go ahead and apply the XY linearity. Now SPIP has not only calculated the best fitting lattice structure the local pixel dislocation is indicated by the red arrows. The size of the arrows indicates the size of the relative magnitude of the arrows and the dislocation direction. The arrows are also visualized in the two scatter plots, one showing the x-pixel error as function of the x-pixel position and the other showing the same information for the y dimension. As you will see, nonlinearities are very systematic and can be fitted very well to a third polynomial. Therefore, it is also possible to calculate polynomial correction functions for linearizing the image. The calculated correction parameters can be saved and loaded to apply the saved correction parameters to a different image. You can activate this dialog directly from the Modify tab. You will find both the XY linearization and the XY correction dialogs in the Scaling and Correction panel. Thank you for your attention.